What's going on, y'all? I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Um, I was fishing in the pond. I went early that morning, and it wasn't that productive, so I came back, and I fished in the kayak. And I got a couple small fish, but of course, you can hear the guy in the background saying, yeah, hey, that's good enough to keep. That's good enough to keep. But you know me. I ain't keeping no small fish. I ain't keeping no small fish like that. I throw them back. So y'all just enjoy the episode. Take the tips and everything like that. Thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, yeah, if you like me and you like these, drink one of these while you watch it. Whatever you got to do, just enjoy the show. And I'll see y'all in the outro. Hey y'all, I'm back using Top Popper before the sun rises. We had a conversation, we're gonna throw out an open. See what we can get, make sure my drag set. We're gonna throw out an open, see what we can get. Throw four hours I can, work that popper back toward me. One stroke, wait a minute. Two strokes, wait a minute. Three strokes, wait a minute. Remember I said it's gonna be the Early morning top water. Early morning top water. There we go. There we go. Remember, low light condition, they're gonna take advantage of this. We got sunny skies coming today so they're not gonna want to feed and all that brightness so we're gonna do just when the sun's coming up on a cloudy day we probably could get out a little bit later and get away with it all depends but we cast there okay see a little bit of action over here on this side we're gonna keep on working this right here you know what I'm saying? Ooh, nice cast. There we go. I'm going. I told you we're going. That's at the front. So. so we're going to just get a little bit of pop. When we're going to move that, use that other bait. That's that gator. That gator let you know he home. <laughs> now we don't we don't we don't work this area right here. This is a little bit deeper. That's definitely deeper. This shallow and this shallow. So we're gonna work we work the deep part first. Then we're gonna work our way to the shallow. Go do the shallow next. Take one cast to the shallow. Okay, all right, we did that. Let's take one cast to the shallow, y'all. See if we can't get one out the shallow. Now, it's the shallow right here. It's the shallow bank. Parallel to the bank. Okay, see that. Let's see if we can get one of them to pop. Don't know when they turn on, but we're gonna go a little bit more shallow. I'm gonna try that side over there next. Top popper. I'm gonna try that side over there next. That's a little bit more shallow. A little bit more shallow. Coming even more shallow than that. Of course, there's spots all around the pond, but we go fish that. It's 
It's always good to know the water temperature. Ooh, nice. Nice pop. Okay, let's try this out over here, y'all. Sound over here. Oh, we're gonna try shallow. Ooh, got him. Got him on. Well, I told y'all, huh? Look at that right there. Check it out. Check it out. It ain't a big one, but check it out. <laughs> Look at that right there. He's so cute. Look at that right there. See that? Look at that right there. That's what happened when you know what you're doing. Now, of course, it ain't the big monster we're looking for, but it's something. It's something. It's something. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and release him. Run and release the little skunk. There we go. I can, I can, I can, I can walk over there. I'll keep the top water. Switch out of this right here to something a little bit more slower presentation. Let's get a little bit slower. Um, Small presentation. Dark, cloudy water. This kind of something that kind of stand out, probably. One more try. One more try. I decided to. Oh, I see some action. Give it one more try. Something just saying, give it one more try for your lead. Let's go ahead. Give it one more try. This is not even made the fishing harder. Oh, no, no. Let's All right, y'all. Switch on over to a small one. Oh, let's see a small one, just a small one. Small little, that's all it is. It's a small little, little. Okay, let's see if I can't get one out of here real quick. Small one, real fair. Man, my st mm. And 
Ah, uh, y'all from going to walk on up here. Feel me? All right. I just wanted to see how this camera work, y'all. So let's do like a couple more casts, and uh, we'll be out of here. Let's get out of here, dog. Hold on. Okay, all right, let's get out of here. Let's walk on down to this truck. It wasn't a very good morning, but uh, maybe later I might go brim. Brim and bass fishing later on. I'm on my way walking to the truck, though. Walking to the truck right now. Through the trail. I'm going back to the truck. Well, these are days of fishing, what days of fishing are like. And not always all good. So some days are good, some days are bad. But tell you what, we're gonna try to come back with a strong one today. We're gonna try to go hit another spot. My boy the doctor right now. So when he gets back from the doctor, we're gonna hit you with another video. Hopefully, we could put a couple of these videos together and make a nice episode for you guys. Interesting entertaining, top notch. But far as that, it didn't work with the artificials. Not this morning. We still got afternoon and we got the next visit. So uh, thank y'all for watching the Williams Family Show, the Williams Family Vlog. Like I said, we got some of the best content. I got fishing, I got family trips, videos, everything. Trying to put more stuff in there. It ain't just a fishing channel, it's all around entertainment so you like fish and you like family entertainment you're gonna find it right here at the williams family vlog i thought the camera was rolling y'all but anyways how many times it's gonna happen to me but there we go nice bass and uh he came out them bushes look at that right there okay that's a nice right that's a nicey wicey right there you know what take a picture for the camera hold on a minute wait a minute let me get a picture from let me get a picture of him real quick y'all okay Now he fighting. Yeah, a small one. I hit him through my worm off now. <laughs> it is hot though. I got a hook good, y'all. Look, check this out. I thought I had the dog on camera on again. This camera thing, man, this thing, like it. Another one, number two. It's not bad at all. Got one on, y'all. Oh, man, man, look what the hell? Did he get it? Wait a minute, y'all. I don't know if that was a bite or not. We're gonna go ahead and wind this thing on up and throw another cast again. We're gonna try to get him this time. We're gonna try to get him this time. Y'all gotta know we dropping it like it's hot. Come on, baby. Don't shy away from the, from the, yeah, shut up. Yep, here we go. Let's see if we can't get him. Catching the heck out on. I had the, um, so y'all know, I had the uh, dark color one on. I switched to the lighter green right here. And uh, we might switch back to the other color, but we just switching different colors. Different colors on the worm. See what we can do. See what's going to work best. But it's water stain, so anytime the water stain, you want to try your best to use dark colors. Now, where does it sound? Dark colors stand out in... in, in and low visibility for the fish so the eyesight might be a little different than ours but uh dark colors and low visibility and light colors and high visibility for the water overcast is uh you know what I'm saying so they can see better with lower light conditions they can see better with high more light conditions 
they can't see as well. So you can fool them with the brighter colors. But low light conditions, they can see real good. It's got to be a darker natural color. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for the dark waters, it's going to be a darker color. For the lighter waters, it's going to be a lighter color. Uh, natural. And um, that's about it, man. That's about it. Just trying to get this thing going. Trying to get this thing rolling. I was getting bites on the other side. Moved to this side. So uh, keep an eye on your water clarity. Okay, three things to keep an eye on. The weather, the water clarity. Yeah, the weather, the water clarity, and the movement of the water. The, um, the wind direction, the current direction, all, all them together as one. Always keep an eye on them. You always want to be fishing on the bank or the side of the water where the water's hitting at first. You know what I'm saying? You want to fish the part where the water's hitting against first to be more productive. Then fish the side where the wind's not hitting. But always want to fish the side where the wind blowing the direction and the water's moving the direction of that structure or bank. Remember I said structure or bank. So, like I said, when you step on the water and you got the wind blowing, it's coming from the east or the west, look at the spot you're fishing and fish the part where the water's hitting because that's the part where the water is pushing all the bait right to them. Even in deep water, you want to be fishing the downside of the structure. So you want to be sitting, you want the bait to come down towards them, down towards them. I don't know that I'm making a lot of sense with that, but down towards them. So uh, you can get your bite and fish them areas first. Move along on them areas first and match your bait with the clarity. Low, low clarity, get a darker bait. A lot of clarity, get a clearer bait, a lighter bait, lighter color. For instance, dark colors, get dark green. I mean, the water's dark, get dark green. The water's light, get a lighter green. Or whatever color you're going to use, but light, not dark. Here comes the sun. All right, y'all, let's see if we can get us another one. That's I got. Oh, I missed him. Oh, God, I missed him. Oh, my gosh. Y'all had him right on there, man. I missed him. That's I got. Oh, I missed him. Oh, God, I missed him. Oh, my gosh. Y'all had him right on there, man. I missed him. I got on. Am I on? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a nice one right there. That's a nice one right there, y'all. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Oh, yeah. Again. Got him. Got him again. Check him out. Yeah. Ain't nothing like a sport of fishing. You got to get them. Got to get them where you can. Like I said, I barely had him look hooked on the side. Look at that. Barely. And we're going to just simply... Release them like the professionals do, you know. Just miss a badge, y'all. Look, everything came off. Everything. Well, gotta try it again. All right, y'all. We're finna get ready to throw a couple casts and end this day. Right now, I'm doing a drop shot right here. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we're on right here and drop shot right here. Six line inches of line. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw this a couple times, and we're gonna go ahead on out of here today. But we're gonna do. A couple of casts of drop shot. I appreciate everybody watching my show. Tuning in, you know what I'm saying? Liking my videos. I try my best to put up videos as much as I can. It look easy, but it ain't. And I'm telling you, just fishing alone is hard. Trying to do these videos, it ain't easy. It look easy. Let me go ahead and take about four more casts and we're gonna get on out of here. Hopefully we can pull one out before the end of the day. Before the day is over, we can pull one out. Hopefully.
Make it go around and pull one out. Today was a tough day, but uh, I always manage to get something, whether it's something I want or something I don't want, but I managed to get something. All right, all right, I'm cast on over here. Wind's picking up a little bit, maybe a sign of a quick bite before the end of the night. So let's just see what we can do. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and end that. Yeah, well, it's getting hot. I'm gonna take about one, two more casts on down here. See if I can't pop one more. That was pretty fun today, though. Had a good day. And we can't cast way out there. Bloom! Cover all that water. See if we can't pop one. Let's see if we can't pop at least one. All right, let's go. Ready to go get something to eat? Yep. Chill out. Anytime you reeling it in, wait till you feel that bottom like you hit a log or something, stop at that spot, wiggle it a little bit. That always works good. Stop at that spot, wiggle it a little bit. If you come across a stump or a log or something, stop at that spot, wiggle it a little bit. And just remember, cloudy or non-visible conditions like what we got right here, can always be outdone with dark colored baits, solid colors, dark solid colors, or flashy color, I mean flashy symbols like gold, vibration baits, you know? So don't be scared when you see the water real cloudy. They usually go shallow or they stay near the shallow towards the bottom. Sometimes they come up to the top, you know, all the pins. What I've been noticing is stay close to the bottom and get all my bikes close to the bottom. All right, y'all, thanks for watching. Peace, I'm out. Well, that wraps it up. Um, I'm hoping to do a pond part two, so like I said, before I leave, I want to thank all y'all for watching. I want to thank all my subscribers for being part of this channel, the Williams family. Thank y'all for watching the Williams family. And uh, for those who first time seeing this video, subscribe, press the like button, hit the bell icon, which is the little bell symbol on the side after you subscribe. And that's going to notify you when my next video comes up. So. Subscribe, like, thumbs up. Don't put no thumbs down because it's a lot of hard work. And until you do this right here and videotape and edit and go out there and some of y'all can't even fish, yet alone videotape. So no cutting down, I'm just saying. It's hard enough to fish, yet alone videotape. So you gotta give props where props is due. So hey, thumbs up if you don't like it, move on. And once again, thank y'all for subscribing and watching.